This is Strictly Prophetic with the Global Prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King. For many years, I've had people from Sudan come to comment under my prophecies and they asked that God should give a message to the prophet concerning their nation. This time, God has accorded me the grace to receive messages for them. And Sudan is one of those nations. So we have South Sudan and we have Sudan, right? Yes. So I'm speaking about Sudan first, then I speak about South Sudan. For Sudan, many things have gone wrong. And the entire country is under God's judgment. And I see hard times coming, especially for those who have wrongfully betrayed their wives and husbands and those who will not heed to godly and parental advices. The, uh, the Spirit of God said, judgment is knocking on your door. Specifically, those who feel it the most in the nation of Sudan are those who are living a promiscuous life. They are married, but they are cheating. They are in a serious relationship, but secretly they are sleeping around. Judgment from the throne room of God is looking for you. And the only thing that can stop the anger and the judgment of God in this promiscuous kind of life, like Sodom and Gomorrah, is repentance in Sudan. Hallelujah. Praise God. And if you connect it to the lives of the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, they also live that kind of life. And it angered God and it angered heaven. And when judgment fell, the entire nation was consumed with fire. So repentance is the key. Not mercy, but repentance is the, is the key. Shout a good amen. Amen. Man. The spirit of unfaithfulness in marriages will be on the high in Sudan. And I saw an oil refinery also going up into flames. Oil refinery going up into flames. The Spirit of God said, in this season there's going to be a very strong heat wave. A very strong heat wave that will pass through Sudan. And when there is a strong heat wave, obviously there will be a lot of reaction physically. Yes. Hallelujah. There will be a lot of reaction physically in terms of health wise. Dr. Elijah Kofi King is worth hearing.